Hello YouTube. In an effort to show the world that the UFO phenomenon is not stuck only to the United States and Area 51, I want to tell you about sightings, encounters, and observations in the former Soviet Union. And that includes, of course, Russia, Ukraine, Central Asia, Siberia, and other territories. Now, here is what I have as the latest. And um, today is the 26th of February. So the unusual yellow-green glow shaped like a flying saucer was noticed on the border of the Leningrad and Vologda regions. The Northern Lights explorer or hunter, if you can call him that, Alexander Rusinov, showed Russian media a picture of a yellow-green aurora on February 22nd. Bright flashes formed half rings, reminding actually of an alien craft. On, F on February 16, 2023, at the 2 o'clock in the morning, a huge yellow-green UFO fell into the deep forest on the border of the Leningrad and Vologda regions, leaving a white phosphorescent trail in the sky, uh, according to Rusinov. It is noteworthy that a few days before, four identif unidentified flying objects were spotted in the United States airspace. One of them turned out to be a Chinese balloon. The nature of purpose of the other three remained unclear. Now we are going to travel over to the Asian part of Russia and talk about the mystery of an unknown object that flew over Ulan Ude. Last week, local sites, local sites literally were flooded with photos and videos uh, with a strange celestial body. According to eyewitnesses uh, who uh, reported this on the internet sites, uh, the object flew over the capital of Buryatia in the dead of night on February 17. It was captured on camera by one of the visitors um, of the popular anonymous tree community in the Russian <clears throat> uh, internet site Vkontakte. A meteorite or a satellite burned down over Ulan Ude, the subscriber said. In the comments, other members of the group noted the mysterious astronomical object looked more like a comet because a meteorite, they say, does not fly for so long. And some suggested it was a rocket. Other hypotheses put forward by the internet users include a bolide, aliens from outer space, a quadcopter, and even a spy satellite. The mystery of the unidentified flying object was eventually revealed at the Irkutsk Planetarium. As it turned out, in the sky over Buryatia and the neighboring Angara region, the stage of the Chinese CC-4B carrier rocket Chang Zheng, or the Great Campaign, collapsed. It immediately became clear that this was not a meteor. The phenomenon lasted for tens of seconds, while the meteor is visible for a maximum of several seconds. They explained in the planetarium, scientists did. In addition, the video, which was sent by eyewitnesses from the Ziminsky district of the Irkutsk region and Ulan Ude, shows the separation of small fragments from a body collapsing in the Earth's atmosphere. This is also typical for the deorbiting of rocket stages or satellites that have served their time. Employees of the Irkutsk planetarium contacted colleagues from the International Meteor Organization, and they confirmed their account of the destruction of the spacecraft. According to the date, time, and trajectory of movement, it was possible to compare this phenomenon with the predicted descent from orbit of the stage of the Chinese launch vehicle Great Campaign, which was launched from the Taiyuan spaceport or Cosmodrome on December 27. It put Gao Fen 11-04, the fourth satellite of the Chinese Integrated Earth Remote Sensing System, into the near-Earth orbit, according to the institution. Now let's move on to another interesting event. A resident of Polisayev reported a strange 
phenomenon in social networks, attaching a video. On the video from the surveillance camera, a flash of light is visible and a bang is heard. The man who posted the video suggested it was something similar to meteorite and that it fell in the area of the local cemetery. Judging by other comments, there were quite a few eyewitnesses of the incident. According um, to the people from the area, the event took place on February 19. It really was on February 19. Our cameras also recorded everything was very illuminated and there was such a loud sound as if one huge firework w was launched. And at the same time, there was no crackling in the house. It was half past 10 in the evening. We watched TV and heard everything. My son and I also heard a dull pop, but it did not un we didn't understand what it was. Something fell right under my w window. I will continue to bring you more uh, reports from Russia and uh, China uh, through Russian media. And, uh, of course, this is, we, we all need to know that because the world doesn't circle around Area uh, 51. And a lot of interesting things are happening overseas. But I also want you uh, to remember something about Buryatia, uh, Lake Baikal, and so forth. UFOs had been visiting and have been visiting that area for thousands of years. And I have uh, records that go back for quite a long time into antiquity. Please watch my videos um, in, the channel, in my channel in the playlist dedicated to the um, mysterious so-called swimmers in the Lake Baikal because I bring a lot of information about surrounding area in the history of quite sinister sometimes and always interesting UFOs and USOs as well and, of course, unusual beings. So thank you for your attention to my work. If you can support me, you will find how to do it in the description to this video. Please subscribe to my channel. Please like my videos and tell others.